Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how the ruler tool works differently in CS6 and above. So, the ruler tool is going to still be found uh, in the same th place that it is in CS5. And you can go to it and you can straighten out your image using it. So, you can click and you can drag a line across the horizon and then click straighten layer. But notice that it doesn't get rid of or crop down the pixels. So, the truth is, it's really not used as much inside this one. I'm going to step backward using a Control alt z or Command alt z on the Mac and I'm going to switch over to the Crop tool. The Crop tool can actually do it a little better and it also keeps the entire image intact. So when the Crop tool comes up it's going to automatically put these little bars in the corners and allow you to crop the image. Now yes you can go in and crop the image However, in my case, I want to just rotate the image. Now watch what happens when I rotate it. You see how the back behind it, it's like the picture moves, the crop area does not. And so I just turn it to the left here until it lines up along one of those grid lines, right? So I'm watching the horizon, it looks good about there. And notice that it has made it to where all this area gets cropped out so you can see it pretty quickly and rotate it and then when you uh, tell it to delete crop pixels it'll get rid of those but you can tell it to not delete crop pixels and click check now when it does that it turns it into a standard layer and if I were to move my layer over using my move tool switch to the move tool and move it over you'll see that the entire picture is still there I don't not, sorry, not quite getting it back exactly where it was but you get the point so, honestly, in CS6, the easiest thing to do is to use the crop tool to rotate an image because it'll automatically uh, make all the extra pixels go off into the exterior. And that's it for this video.